Ecclesiastes chapter 3 follows the first two chapters of Discourse, where King Solomon argues that everything under the sun is hevel, or meaningless, like a vapor. In chapter 3, Solomon speaks of a time and season for everything under heaven. We may, at times, wish away certain seasons of life, especially when they require hardship and pain. In our modern culture, we can often seek to maneuver all the pieces of our circumstances to keep us comfortable and happy at all times. But God has a way of making us experience every season, the good and the difficult. I don't have many answers as to why he does this, but I do know that it is his sovereign will to do so. No one knows what the next season has in store for them, but we must trust that he is growing us into the kinds of creatures he desires us to be. He asks in verse nine, what do people really get for their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all, yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, and even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I concluded that there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt summed it up perfectly when she made this popular statement. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. Whatever time or season you find yourself in today, take comfort in the truth that God is doing a work in your life, and he desires you to simply enjoy the moment he has given. Continually thank him for all he's done and pray for the things that you need. Make an effort today to simply be in the moment, to enjoy all the fruits of your labor, giving him thanks and praise for all he's given you and all that he has done.